Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these zipper bags. I hope you enjoy the video. Here's some of the supplies that you'll need along with your sewing machine and thread. Okay, so here's the fabric we're using today. We've got two pieces of fabric for our outside fabric. So this is the outside and that measures eight inches by seven inches. Then for the inside of our bag, we've got two pieces that also measure eight inches by seven inches. We've got four pieces of interfacing that measures seven and a half by six and a half. Then we've got two pieces for our tabs. Those are these tabs right here at the end that you see. And those measure two and a half by two. And then we've got a zipper that we're gonna cut down to measure seven inches. So the first step is we are going to press the interfacing on the back of the of all four pieces of fabric. So the front fabric and the lining fabric, you always wanna make sure that you're placing the bumpy side down um, when you're attaching the interfacing. And these are a little bit crooked. I will straighten them up uh, once we start pressing these. Okay, so this is my Cricut heat press and we're gonna be using this to press the um, interfacing onto our fabric. I'm gonna move this out of the screen now and just set it over here to the right. I'm gonna take this silicone mat. This protects my surface here, okay? So I'm lining up the interfacing. I'm gonna place it down like that and then press this for 16 seconds. So I will fast forward this because I'm gonna do all the layers now. So for now, we're done with our lining fabric and our outside fabric. We're gonna set those aside. And now we're gonna work with the tabs for our zipper. Okay, so we're gonna fold this in half, just like that, and then press it. Same thing for this one. Now I'm gonna fold this in, just like that, and then fold this in, and then fold that over, and then press. So I'm gonna take a clip, a wonder clip, and hold that like that. And now we're gonna do the second one. Same thing, I'm gonna take a clip and set that aside. Now we're ready to prepare our zipper. Our zipper needs to measure seven inches because this measures eight inches and you want your zipper to be one inch shorter than your front fabric, okay? So again, this measures eight inches by seven. So we want our zipper to be one inch shorter than the front fabric. So what we're gonna do is cut our zipper. And the first thing I'm gonna do is um, use my erasable marker and I am going to mark where we're going to cut this, okay? So that's my first cut line is right there. Again, I want the zipper to be seven inches. So I'm gonna measure down to seven inches. Now here's the most important tip I'm gonna give you today. <laughs> and I tell you this because I've ruined like five zippers. Make sure that you bring your zipper down past that point, or otherwise you're gonna have a wasted zipper. Like I said, I've, I've wasted plenty of them. So you can take this to the sewing machine, you can stitch straight across here, so that way you don't make the mistake of pulling your zipper too far and um, messing everything up. Um, what I like to do is just use a little bit of tape to hold that in place. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, slide this down, and we're going to cut on that line. And actually, I don't even have to use my cutter. You can just use your really good scissors. 
Okay, that's trash. Okay, now we're gonna do this part. Now I know you wanna get to the fabric part, right? I understand, but the first thing that you have to do is actually get your zipper ready. So what we're gonna do is place it inside this, just like that, and then we're going to clip it. And then we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and we're going to stitch straight across. So we're gonna start sewing here, go all the way across, and then we're gonna snip off the ends. Um, because of the sewing machine that I have, I needed this extra length to get it to start sewing, okay? So same thing here, and bring this together. Okay, so again, we're going to the sewing machine. We're gonna start sewing right here, go all the way down to here, and then the same thing on this side. Okay, so here's the very important step about using your zipper foot. Make sure that you put your needle over to the left or to the right where you wanna sew. Okay, so we're going to line up the edge of this fabric with the edge of the zipper foot. I'm gonna make sure that I pull this long tail down here on my feed dogs so that it can catch. And then I'm gonna lower the foot, and that's not good enough, right there. And then I'm gonna lower my needle, and then now I'm gonna start sewing. Make sure your zipper stays together. And you repeat this on both ends of the zipper. Okay, so we've just stitched down the right side and the left side, and now we're ready to trim off that excess of the tabs. You can use your rotary cutter if you want, or your scissors. Okay, our zipper is ready. So now we're ready to start making the actual bag. I know that seems a little crazy that you have to do this first, but you do because this is what happens. Now make sure your zipper is open and this is gonna get attached to this right here. And uh, let me get a bunch of clips. Okay, I'm bringing this a little bit closer to myself. Now remember when I mentioned earlier about the space of your index finger? So you could get a ruler if you want. You can measure this out and make sure it's half an inch. I'm okay that it's not exactly perfect. Uh, it's pretty darn close, right? It looks like it's a half an inch on both sides. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and zip down here to the left side and I'm going to clip that and then I'm gonna confirm, okay, it's about the same distance in my eye it is. So then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to clip this zipper to the front fabric. So again, we're placing the zipper pull down on the front fabric. That's a step that um, I messed up numerous times was um, not placing my zipper pull face down on the front fabric. So now what you're gonna do, now that you've got that all lined up, you're gonna take your front fabric and place that on top, and you're gonna clip it in the same spot. So I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna clip this right side first, and then I'm gonna come down here to the left, and I'm gonna clip that one. And then I'm gonna clip this piece and I'll clip this side in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and reclip all of these. And then we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch. So our zipper is right here. So we're gonna use our zipper foot. We're gonna stitch all the way down, okay? When we get to this point right here, I'm gonna take a pen. This is my indicator that I need to stop because you want to move that zipper up so that you can sew, because that zipper is really bumpy. I don't even know if you had a walking foot on if you could go past that. So I'm gonna, this pen's gonna remind me, remind me to stop right here and then lift this up 
and bring that zipper, let me show you. I'll lift that up and I'll move that zipper pull all the way up, okay? I know that sounds a little bit confusing right now, but once we get to the sewing machine, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pin this side just to kind of keep all of my layers straight because sometimes uh, my um, feed dogs kind of pull my fabric. So once again, we're using foot number four, which is my zipper foot. I'm gonna raise this up. And then I am going to position the edge of my fabric, not at the edge of my zipper foot like that. I'm gonna actually bring it in an eighth of an inch. So I'm not lining it up with the foot. I'm lining it up just inside that zipper foot, okay? Okay, you can see I'm at the pen. So I'm gonna remove the pan and I am going to raise the foot and then I'm going to lift up. And I know you can't really see, can you see that? So I'm gonna take this zipper pull and pull it all the way past where I've, to where I've already sewn. So now that zipper pull is right here, okay? I'm gonna reclip my fabric so that it doesn't shift and then continue sewing. So now we want to make sure that we caught the front fabric and the lining fabric. And I have uh, a couple times actually not got the zipper in there. So that is something that you wanna make sure, and you can see I am really close to almost missing that zipper, okay? So everything looks good, I got it. And now what we wanna do is we want to press this flat. So I'm just going to take my iron and I'm pressing both sides. Everything looks good. Now before I go any further, I want to go ahead and open this zipper because you do not want to forget that step. And now what I'm going to do is add my label. So if you have a label, this is the next step. If you don't have a label, then you can skip this step. Of course, I'm looking for that pen that I just got out. There it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add it right over here and I'm going to clip it first and then pin it. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this to the sewing machine and add this label real quick. We've just sewn the label in, and now the next step is to add our other layers. So you can see here, this is our, our zipper, and what we wanna do is attach this to our front fabric again, okay? So let's look at that again. Here's our zipper pull. Here's our front fabric, here's our lining fabric. We're gonna open this up and flatten it just like that. And you're going to position the zipper with the pull side down on top of that front fabric again. And you're also lining this up, same thing as before, leaving a half an inch on each side. So we need our clips again and I'm gonna clip the right side first, and then I'm gonna go clip the left side, kinda make sure that they both have the same distance, they look like they do, and then now I'm going to clip just like we did the first time around. So I'm gonna bring this zipper down a little bit more. Okay. That's pretty good. Now we want to add the lining fabric, the second piece of the lining fabric. So this time, same thing, just gonna place it right on top. I'm going to pin, or not pin, clip the right side, and then clip the left side, and then go from 
left to right. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stitch straight down here. When we get right here, we're going to pull that zipper pull up. So we're going to use a pen to indicate when we need to stop. If you don't do this, it will stop you in your tracks because that's so bumpy right there. Okay. Here's the point where we stop. Raise our foot. And we want to move that zipper pull all the way up. Okay, so the same thing, we wanna make sure that we caught the zipper and that we caught the lining fabric and it looks like we did. So for the time being, let's go ahead and close that zipper for a second. And then we are going to press this and then the back side. And now the next step is we are going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch across the top on both sides. Okay, so now to stitch, to top stitch this, uh, we wanna start top stitching right here at the edge of this tab, but on the front fabric. So I'm gonna line up my zipper foot, and you wanna make sure that your needle is in the position to actually stitch on the fabric. So you might wanna move your needle over a little bit. That actually looks really good on my sewing machine, so that's where I'm gonna leave it. My zipper foot is just slightly over to the right of that seam. Hopefully you can see that. Those feed dogs kind of pull on my fabric. And now we're going to do the other side. Okay, so we're almost done. I want to show you what this looks like. Here's the lining fabric. Here's the front fabric. And now we're ready to assemble this. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your lining fabric and you're going to line it up and you're going to clip both corners. You're going to do the same thing on the front fabric. Okay, so now see how this is? You want your tab to go in the lining part of your bag, okay? So let me do a couple more clips over here. So you're gonna make sure that that tab folds in to the lining, not the front fabric, okay? We're gonna come over here and do the same thing, except it's easier to go this direction. So go ahead and add another clip to the front fabric and then make sure that tab goes into the lining. Now this is rather bulky, you can see that. I'm gonna use a walking foot. Okay, so now we've got our sides done, our tabs are folded into the lining. We're gonna add a couple more clips to the side and then we need to mark an opening so we can turn our bag right sides out. So we're just gonna take a pin and another pin. So we are gonna start sewing here, go all the way down around, down, around, all the way, and we're gonna stop right there, okay? So all the way around. Okay, as a reminder, I am using my walking foot. Um, I really need it uh, to make this bag on my Bernina sewing machine. So I'm gonna start where this pen is, and I'm going to sew this. Well, the other thing you wanna make sure you put your needle back in the center position. So ideally, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. And so for me, I'm going to be lining it up to the edge right here. Okay.
Now you can see how bumpy this is. One of the things that I needed to do was to make sure that my zipper was open. Okay, so I just made sure that my zipper is open. That would have been a big mistake, right? And now it's a little less bulky, although it's pretty bulky. Now we're ready to box the corners. So if you did not want your bottom uh, box, if you want it to just be a flat bag, you could skip this step. But I really like that the bag sets up like that. So we're gonna box the corners. I'm using one and a half inches for this one. And I'm gonna use my one and a half inch measurement. Let's go in the wrong direction, here we go. So we're gonna line it up with our stitch line, not the fabric, the actual stitch line, okay? So my one and a half inches is on this stitch line, and then I need to bring the one and a half to that one. And then we're just going to mark it with an erasable marker. And then we're gonna do the same thing on all four, all four corners. Okay, so now we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut this square out. And we're gonna do this on all four corners. And now we're gonna use our clips and we are going to bring that up like that. and we're gonna stitch straight across. So we're gonna do this on all four corners. And ideally, we wanna keep the fabric going in the same direction on the bottom. So it's going that way to the left. And then down here on this one too. Okay, so again, we're gonna stitch straight across using a quarter inch seam on all four corners. For this step, we're using foot number 57 on my Bernina. That is a quarter inch seam foot. And this one is gonna be a little bit difficult for you to see because <laughs> this is quite bulky, but I'm trying to make sure that this is flat. Okay, so now we're ready to bring the bags right side out. What we're gonna do is poke out those corners on the front fabric, make sure that there's no holes in there and they both look really good. So then now we need to close up our lining fabric, okay? This is really easy. You're just gonna bring this together. This is gonna be the bottom inside of the bag. You could use some glue if you want to hold that before you go and stitch it. Okay, so we're just gonna take this to the sewing machine, stitch all the way down. Okay, making this fit in here is a little bit challenging and I am not using a quarter inch seam. I'm actually gonna be using around an eighth of an inch.
Okay, so we've just stitched the opening closed in the lining and now we're ready to finish opening this. <laughs> that would have been helpful if I had opened up the zipper. Okay, so let's push the lining inside there and use your finger to press in those corners. Now for this part, just use your finger again. You can see right there and the same thing right here. And then look how cute this is. Now we wanna give it a press. So let me get my ironing board. Now if you receive any of my bags, uh, when they arrive, they're folded flat. All of them will look so much better if you put, put them back on the ironing board and give them a press. Just like my fabric trays, um, they have to be mailed flat. So when you get them, just put them on your ironing board and they will, they will look beautiful again. Okay, so here it is. And then here's the one from earlier. Um, so cute, right? So that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel.